Alright guys, welcome back to J Force Gaming and today we have another really interesting docking station and this is not an ordinary docking station from Esagear, alright? This thing also can act as a solid state drive so it can be also act as an external solid state drive which is really really interesting and uh, I'm going to talk to you about the, uh, the pods you have um, the type of inputs and what it can be used for but before that let's do a quick unboxing and see what we get inside this uh, or what you get when you first receive this package so let's just see what we be getting inside here all right so we have a uh, quite a few items here all right so that is all well we do get like a warranty card and a use user manual to teach you how to operate this item this device all right and at the back we have a screwdriver and a silicone pad which i'm going to tell you what is this used for all right anyways let's just take out this um this device right here this docking station right here and first impression on this is very very premium right so this thing is really really premium feels really nice in hand all right the whole thing is aluminium so it's very very durable all right it can withstand drops and shards Alright, and uh, yeah, it's braided cable over here and a really nice USB-C cable over here for you to plug into your, uh, you know, MacBook, um, your laptops or your um, Steam Deck, all these that uses uh, USB-C output. So this thing can be used uh, to expand the ports on your laptop as well or any other devices that has a USB-C. So um, yeah, so overall the first impression in this is really, really good quality very well boot very durable all right so now let's go ahead and talk about the ports it have all right that he has to offer all right so there on the left all right you can insert a normal size sd card or a micro sd card to it either choice your way and uh you do it just work and after that on the right hand side we have a usb 2.0 which can transfer speed up to 480 megabytes per second which is relatively fast for a USB 2 port where you can connect your mouse or keyboard or any other um, peripherals to it. All right, and on the right side too, the USB 2 is the USB 3.2 is where you guys can have a transfer speed of up to 10 Gbps which is extremely, extremely fast for your external hard disk or solid state drive or any other thing that requires high transfer speed. You have it right over here. And on the right hand side, we have a USB-C port which also have a transfer speed of up to 10 Gbps if your device or peripherals only have a USB-C connector, you can use this port as well. So it's very very useful. And following on the front, we have another USB-C port but this thing is for charging. Alright, this thing can charge up to 100 watts. So this thing, if your adapter has a maximum up to 100 watts, this thing can take in up to a maximum of 100 watts so that we are using this docking station you can also charge your laptop at the same time so the power will be delivered through this docking station into your laptop via this USB cable so because like most of the MacBooks uh, right now only have one or two USB-C port alright so one is used for let's say if one of the ports is used up alright and you don't have any more ports you can use this to charge and you will charge your MacBook as well while you can use it as a docking station while charging so no, no, do not worry about that and at the right hand side of it we have a HDMI output right, which can output up to 4K at 30 Hz so you can use this to connect to an external monitor from your laptop or probably your, like your Steam Deck or ROG Ally which uses you know you want to connect make it turn into your desktop you can also use this as well so this is very very efficient and have enough port a sufficient port for everything you need for for work for school is or even for gaming as well you have all the necessary ports right here with just one small device right here and it's very very lightweight for you to carry around now let's talk about the interesting part or uh, features about this device is at the back there is a M.2 SSD drive bay right where you can uh, in, put in a M.2 SSD into it to turn this thing into a really really good external solid state drive so this one not only just for docking you can also use it for storage as well so it's like you know this, there's a eight eight port so and uh, this one so, and one SSD so I could probably call it a nine in one docking station all right which um, don't really see much in any docking station most of the docking station you see out there all right uh, 
are basically just you know have ports and that's all all right but this one has an additional features for you to plug in your uh, m.2 ssd into it all right and with this silicon pad all right put on top of it and just put this aluminium pad back into place it will act as a heat stick because this is an aluminium pad and this one does dissipate the heat because usually you know that <coughs> most of the m.2 they get usually really hot and you want to prolong the life of your solid state drive you need this and you know just put this over it and it will help dissipate heat because the whole thing here is aluminium so it helps to dissipate heat efficiently so it is very very well thought of for them because if you were to just enclose this inside it may get very very hot so with this they include this idea which is really really amazing all right so you just put in your m.2 all right put in a silicone pad and you can just close it up magnetically so you don't have to you know unscrew or anything you can just swap out anytime easily all right and it just and it just stays inside there and and yeah you can use this as an external solid state drive like i said and you can use this use every port as well so there's no issue bringing these around for travel or work oh and one thing i forgot to mention is that is this button to turn on and off the ssd inside manually so if you want to use this as a dock all right you can you can just turn off the uh, ssd inside so when you just plug in you will not read the ssd itself all right you will not read the m.2 you will just use this it will just become a port itself but if you want to turn it on you can use it as a port and an external uh, solid state drive just click on the button at the front all right be beside the cable and it will turn on the ssd and you can start to read and write file to the ssd itself so very very useful feature if you really don't want it to connect to your solid state drive all right so um you know, this thing is very nice for traveling you can just put it anywhere inside your you know, travel backpack and it will just work all right and it's very lightweight so it won't take up much space in your in your bag or anywhere as well so uh so yeah well yeah, if you guys want to get this docking station for yourself i will link you to the dvd description down below uh, for you guys to check it out and it's very very worth it all right um it's very rare to see a docking station with a m.2 inside so with an external hard disk or ssd inside which is really really amazing all right and very compact as well so um so yeah so if you guys want to check out this really amazing docking station out there go ahead and check out the first link in the video description down below all right so if you guys like today's video give it a thumbs up if you find today's video really interesting let me know in the comment section as well and if you guys want more video like this or me reviewing different type of docking station you can let me know in the comment section as well and i'll recommend those that i love and it's really unique and this thing is one of the most unique one and the more the most amazing one that i've seen compared to any other brands out there so yeah so um that's for it guys and uh this is was gaming i shall see you guys in my next video peace out